Okay, this video is going to show you how to use Excel to calculate national assurance. Um, you've already had a go with doing this um, manually in your workbooks, and now we're going to try and use some formulas to do this. Again, for the top marks and for more effective solution, you should use if statements. I'm not going to show you that. I'm going to show you the simple way. Um, I've already shown you if statements on the income tax one. The same sort of principle applies, and that's there for you to problem solve. Um, after you've had a go at doing this one. So national insurance and how it's worked out as a reminder, we need to work out the gross weekly income, okay, on values. So we have our salary, okay, so you found your careers out there and they start in salaries and type them in here. I'm using 50,000 because I want to use all the different thresholds to show you. So the gross weekly income is the salary divided by 52. So equals 50,000 so in C2 divided by 52. So this person earns £961.54 pence a week. National insurance is charged. Under 50, everything under £155 a week is at 0%. Then everything between 155 and 827 is at 12%. Okay? So the, they lose 12% of that value there. Okay? And then anything that's over £827 a week is charged at 2%. So we can see here, we've got a certain amount over £827 that needs to be charged. I've done, I've compared these values, yeah, when you're thinking of if statements, when you have a go with that, I'm manually comparing at the moment. But I'm going to do this without if statements and then hopefully you can do that. So we, we need to charge 12% on the monies in between these two values. So we need to work out the differences between those there. So we can do that, and 12% of that would be equals that minus that. Okay, give you the difference. And then times 12%. £80.64. Um, you could. Do this in two steps, okay? If you find that a bit easier, you could work out the difference between those first and there. So equals that, take away that, 672, and then you could say equals that times 12%, which gives you £80.64. So we've taxed up to 827 of this. We've now got the rest of that value there at 2%. So we're going to say equals that take away that gives us 134 which equals that times two percent i've been here gives us that so we're gonna add them up so equals that plus that so this person pays 83 pounds 33 pence a week in national insurance we want to total it annually then we just multiply by 52 weeks in a year, and we get 4,033.20. Now you can check this online using um, an online calculator, okay? Not, not a student loan one, this one here, okay? Which is the, there's the web address there, if you want it, and we work out the weekly amounts. It's always category A, okay? Don't worry about the easy stuff for like older people and stuff. We'll, we're working on category A, which is for most people. And the weekly pay, I just need to go back to Excel and have a look what the weekly gross pay was, 961.54. So let's go back in here and 961.54, okay? Next, to calculate employees' contribution, okay? Not employers, employees' contribution. Don't worry about that one there. It's column one E. £83.33, £83.33 there, okay? So that's how you work out national insurance. I did it a little bit manually because I was looking and comparing figures. If you want to do it, so it, so it looks to see upper thresholds and stuff, then you'll need to use the if statements and do a little bit of problem solving using the knowledge we have found in the income tax one. Okay, thank you very much.